Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The graph shows the variation with the diffraction angle of the intensity of light when monochromatic light is incident on four slits. Number of slits is increased, keeping the width and the separation of the slits unchanged. So, my dear students, width of the slit is given by B. The separation of the slit is given by D. And both of them are not increasing or decreasing. They are kept same. Only that the number of slits are increased. Like they are just added on the top of them and the bottom of them. So more number of slits are there now. So which of the possible changes are correct? Three possible changes um, uh, to the pattern are the separation of the primary maximas increases. Well, no. So my dear student, first of all, let me clarify this thing from the diagram. What is happening in this diagram? Whenever we have more than one slit, it becomes a clear-cut case of interference. And when we have one single slit, it is diffraction. But when we have like more than one, two, three or four like that, actually interference is modulated with diffraction. Both of them are coexisting there. So in the case of uh, one single slit, there is only diffraction. And the pattern looks like this. If there are two slits, the interference is there, but it is modulated with diffraction. So diffraction is still happening like this. But the pattern, the actual pattern will look like this. Like this. And you can now erase this black one. Yeah, so this is the pattern that you would be getting if there are two slits. No doubt about that. And there is no secondary maxima. There is no case of these secondary maxima like these. They are, they are not present here. So what happens now is, and also the this intensity is basically um, like um, there are two slits. So it is directly proportional to n square or it is equal to n square i. So these are two. So this is equal to 4i. If there will be eight such slits, the total intensity will be 8 squared. That is 64i. If there are four slits, 4 raised to power 2 is 16. So the intensity will be 16i. Accordingly, now they have increased the number of uh, slits. So the intensity has definitely increased. So the intensity of the primary maxima increases, definitely increases, because the intensity of the primary maxima, or you can call it uh, i, is directly proportional to n square, or it is equal to i n square i naught, where i naught is or i0 is the original intensity of the light which is coming out of one single slit and i is the total intensity after the interference has taken place which is this so this is i naught or i0 and this is i yeah so this is what i'm talking about so more is the number of slits more is the intensity no doubt about that the width of the primary maxima decreases even that is correct why the width will decrease because in this case when there are four slits so the intensity will be 4 squared, that is 16 I naught. And what are the number of secondary maximas? So number of secondary maximas will be equal to n minus 2, which is 4 minus 2, and that is 2. So there will be only two secondary maxima here. But now, because you have increased the number of slits, like let us say you have made it 8 or 10. So now the number of uh, secondary maxima will become 10 minus 2, that is 8. So secondary maximums will become bigger. So it means more space is required here. And from where is the more space coming? By making this slit and these slits to be thinner. So these fringes will become thinner. There is no doubt about that. So the width of the primary maxima will decrease and it will become sharper as well as longer because the intensity is now 64 into i. Earlier it was 16 into i. Now it is 64 into i. So the intensity is more and the fringe is thinner. So that is why the two and three are correct so we will verify the answer i will i, I will um, we will see that but uh, before that uh, let me see if there anything else is uh, remaining um yeah the next thing that i want to em uh, uh, emphasize here is that b and d are not changed thereby the angle that is lambda by b like angle for the for diffraction and the angle in the case of interference which is lambda by d both of them do not change because neither the wavelength changes nor the b changes nor d changes it means that the position of the maximas are not going to be changed this is central this is first this is second my dear students the answer is c okay they do not change one and d all the best